Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're going back to 1984 and we will be opening this authenticated sealed box of 1984 Tops Rack Packs. This was authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange out in Indiana. You can see it's a nice, big, thick rack box. There are 24 packs in here. And this box is pristine because this box was pulled fresh from a sealed case, which is the most desirable type of box by far, especially for rack um, boxes. As you saw, our last rack box that we found um, from a sealed case, 1985 Tops, we found two Mark McGuire rookie cards, two Roger Clemens rookie cards, and a Curry Pucket. So tonight we are hoping to find Don Mattingly's rookie card. You can see here is the certification from Steve Hart, the owner out there at Baseball Card Exchange. This was pulled from a sealed case October of 2019. And I got this box from the exact same seller as 1985. Our 1985 Topps Rack box was so good, I figured I got to go right back to that same exact seller for this one. So I believe we will be live with this for about one hour. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Let's get this started. Here we go. We're going to break the seal and see what we can find in 1984. I've never done 1984 Topps Rack boxes. I have done an 84 wax box about a year ago or so. So here we go. We just went live, Mark. Let's take a look. Now, before I reveal the packs, I'm going to show you or tell you how we're going to go down in order here. We will start with number one on the top left side and work our way the whole way down one through 12 and then 13 to 24 on the right hand side. For those of you wondering where you fall in the break before we open up the box, we got Chad, Tevin, Nick, Ryan, Tim, Eric, Z, Eben, Braid, uh, sorry, Braden. Number nine is Brad. 10 is David. 11 is Jason. 12 is Rob. Number 13 is Tyler. 14 is Luke. And Days of the Dad Sports Card Stop. Thank you very much for signing up to be a member of the channel. Basilios is 15. Clayton is 16. 17 is Justin. 18 is Robert. 19 is Jose. 20 is William. 21 is Lester. 22 is Rob. 23 is Robert N. And 24 is Brandon. So here we go. Number one. We might find a Don Mattingly just peering at us from the very top of the see-through rack box. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. I'm going to keep the, the rack box on the screen as best I can the whole time. We'll just back it up a little bit right there. All right, here we go. There's our first look at the packs. Pack number one. We will gingerly pull it out. And this is for Chad, so best of luck to you, Chad. You can see every rack pack will come with an all-star from 1983. Um, Chad's going to have George Brett. Uh, and then you have your other cards. There was a grand total of 54 cards per pack. Plus, you also have that all-star commemorative. So lots of cards here. Let's get to ripping these open in pack number one. TK Sports Cards has just got back on Patreon, Eric. Missed you, man. Could use a lot more subs, though. Think you could help, man? Thank you, brother. TK Sports Cards. Thank you very much. I hope you will go. Uh, all you guys watch right now, T.K. Sports Cards. Check their channel out and give them a sub. I'd very much appreciate that. I really appreciate your support, TK. And welcome back to Patreon. Uh, we will have another break for those of you that missed out on this one. And that one is going to be Topps Chrome will be our next one. Hey, there's Toto Man. Says, hey, Sir Jabs, just wanted to thank you. I got my package not long ago. Good luck to all. Toto Man, who got the Mike Trout rookie card. Actually, he won it. And uh, thank you for your patience, Toto Man, as I get caught up on shipping stuff out. So here we go, 1984. Topps looking for Don Mattingly. There's Whitey Herzog, who is a Hall of Famer, Lloyd Mosby. Rich Gale, Bruce Keeson, Tim Flannery. Danny wants to know how you get in on these packs. There's Ricky Henderson, who is a Hall of Famer. Uh, I sell them on my Patreon page, so there's 24 spots available for this break. And it's only available to those folks on Patreon 
The uh, lowest membership level is $3 a month, which is 10 cents a day. There we go. Tom Seaver and Steve Carlton. By far and away, the best card is Don Mattingly. That's what we're looking for. If we can find a PSA 10 Don Mattingly, well, that's a $400 card. So fresh out of the box, our best chance to get one of those. Daddy Donner Card Break says, pulled three Zion rookie cards today. Congratulations. Now ready for baseball. I hope you check out Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. Guys, just look them up in the YouTube search bar and um, give them some support. There's Jim Bibby, former Bucko, also looking for, of course, Daryl Strawberry. Of course, he has a 1983 Topps traded card. There's Terry Francona, manager of the Indians. Bill Campbell, Dave Anderson. Also looking for some nice Hall of Famers like, obviously, Nolan Ryan, Robin Yount, Brett Butler, Tony Perez, all of those guys. There's Willie Randolph, who was a pretty good player back in the day. Dave Concepcion, another nice player, great fielder. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer alert. Nice one right there. Not his rookie card, but still a nice one for sure. Um, Robin Yount, another Hall of Famer. Dusty Baker, who I like a lot. Dave Winfield. So now we're getting into the Hall of Famers. Tim Stoddard, Bill Doran. Gary Renicky and Joaquin Andujar is the last one. And, yes, Ted Simmons. I got to get used to calling Ted Simmons a Hall of Famer as well um, just because growing up he was one of those guys that I never really considered to ha even have a chance at a Hall of Fame. He snuck in there, and congratulations to Ted Simmons. We will make sure to shout him out from here on out. Brian D says, how do you hope everything is good? When is the sign-up for 2019 Topps Chrome? Looking for some good rookies. Keep up the great work. Brian, I have... Three cases of 2019 Topps Chrome. I've got two jumbos with five autographs per box, and I've got one hobby case as well. I'll put those up for sale sometime tomorrow on Patreon, so make sure that you have your email alerts turned on. I think I have enough boxes that everybody can get, um, at least if they want to get in there, can get a spot if they are paying attention to their email. There's Tevin K. You're up right now, pack number two. You've got Rod Carew on the front. We've also got Raphael Landestoy in there, who I don't remember at all. Radioactive Collectibles just subbed to my Patreon page. Thank you very much, Radioactive Collectibles. I hope you guys will help him out and return the favor there. Radioactive Collectibles. Patreon, I'm working for all you guys on the $26 tier. We're working on your stuff tonight, me and a loved one after this break. And rounding up a bunch of packs and we are going to be working on getting all your stuff together over the next couple days the 26 tiers the target for tonight so here we go this is number two pack number two for tevin we have al bumbery uh then we have moose haas dave engel alan trammell hall of famer actually pulled his autograph out of a hot corner box last night i believe it was Box number 113 last night, right near the end. Um, a pretty big pull for sure. Um, what else do we have here? Bob Baylor. We have Mookie Wilson. That's a nice Mookie Wilson card. Those of you 86 Met fans will like that one. Carlton Fisk, who is a Hall of Famer. Venom said he's not a fan of the BBCE. Well, this is from a sealed case, so... These packs, definitely no way that they were tampered with. And I have confidence in Steve Hart that he does a good job. And um, sometimes you get crappy boxes, and it's not his fault, like we saw with the 79 Toss box, which was absolutely abysmal. But it is the company's fault. We got all the cards from Sheet C. It was a collation error back then. Also, that terrible 81 BBCE Don Russ box, that was terrible as well. Here comes the Hall of Famer. It's going to be Rod Carew, 1983 All-Star. Grace, welcome back to the stream. Remember you from last night. There's Bob Shirley. Joe Morgan. Yes, Wade Boggs is in this set. That's a second-year Wade Boggs card. Dwayne Walker. Mark Davis, who would go on to win a Cy Young Award in like 1989, I think, with the Padres. Julio Cruz. There he is, Joe Torre. Joe Torre, a Hall of Famer, would make up uh, most of his fame with the Yankees as a manager, but was a pretty darn good player as well back in his playing days. How about an Andy Van Slyke rookie card? My favorite player. I used to love this card as a kid. Um, this was like one of my holy grails as like a 10, 11-year-old was an Andy Van Slyke rookie card. 
Used to love that card. Another Rod Carew and a Reggie Jackson. So two of those. We've got a Ron Gidtree and Don Baylor. And one more card for Tevin. It's going to be a Mike Schmidt and Tony Perez league leaders card for Tevin. So that's pack number two. We're hoping to find two Don Manningly rookie cards tonight. We've gone through two packs. Next up, pack number three. That's for Nick. So let's see who we have on the top of these. Uh, we've got Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer Ted Simmons, which is a nice one. Ben Hayes and also Pat Zachary is the last one there. Let's get these opened up. I saw somebody ask earlier, what do the cards smell like? I haven't given them the smell test yet, but I often do give them a smell test. Maybe after I go through this, I'll give it a smell test. What I'm smelling for when I do that is I'm smelling for like dampness or mildew and stuff like that. Try to get an idea of where the cards were stored, but I feel like these are going to smell pretty darn good uh, just because they are from a sealed case and from the same owner as my last case. I went back to the same guy. Uh, Alice, how's it going? All right, so let's see what we can have Nick, uh, in store for Nick here. Jim Gantner. Damaso Garcia. I love the smell of old wax cards for sure. They definitely smell great, especially the ones that have been um, well cared for. There's Last Draps Baseball. Last Draps says Andy Van Slyke was in love with the Weather Network when he played. He actually did a few broadcasts at the end of his career. Last Draps Baseball. I remember that. That was pretty funny. I believe Andy Van Slyke went on to KDK, the local TV, and did the weather report and was absolutely terrible at it. Had no idea what he was doing. He was pointing in the wrong direction and stuff because it's just a green screen behind him, but I don't know if that's on YouTube or not, but yep, Vance like one of my heroes. Shout out to you, Alyssa, thanks for being here. Scott O, thank you very much. Manuel still can't figure out how to get in on these breaks. Well, I sell them on my Patreon page. You have to be a member at that page to be able to access my postings there. And once I post uh, something, like for example, my next post will be 2019 Tops Chrome, all you have to do is sign up that you want to spot with your email address that you use for your PayPal account. And then I just copy and paste that email address into an invoice and I send you an invoice. You pay it and your name goes on the break list. It's pretty easy if you have a PayPal account. There's Vern Rule. We got a Jim Palmer, Don Sutton, and Tommy John. Nice ones right there. Lucas is telling you that Alan Trammell auto from yesterday, box 113. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. Cooper's asking for rookies. Not a whole ton of rookies in this set. You have Don Mattingly, which is the main man in this one. Also, Daryl Strawberry. Um, some people consider this to be his rookie card, even though he has an 83 top straight. And Julio Franco. That's about it in terms of rookies. And then you have lots of Hall of Famers like Tom Seaver, Steve Carlton, and Tony Perez as well. There's Lance Parrish. And the last one there is Dickie Knowles' last one. So that's Nick's pack. Thank you very much, Nick. Moving on now, Ryan W. is up with number four. Pack number four. I can see you've got a Mike Schmidt on top. Be really cool to find a Don Mattingly just hanging out on top of one of these. Let's see what we have coming up in this one. Mike Schmidt is on top. Number two, I think last time I opened a rack pack, I opened them one pack at a time. And now that I've kind of analyzed that, I feel like it might be best just to do all three at once, just to kind of move it along. Anything else opening tonight? No, cool kid. I will just be doing this one box tonight. I suspect we will be done around 8 p.m. because a lot of folks said there is some sort of draft going on for some other sport. So here we go. Daddy, daughter, I have not yet decided that. I'll have to um, try to figure it out and see what's best. If we're just going to do it by the, the pack or the half box or whatever. There's a Reggie Jackson, 1984. Aaron Z says, Jabs is on tonight. Thanks, Aaron. Nice Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson right there. Hey, Wade Boggs second year card. So a pretty good start to this pack for Ryan. Does anybody remember the precursor to the Don Manley rookie card from our 84 Tops Wax break? There's a Jim Rice, Hall of Famer Jim Rice. So the Hall of Famers are kind of stacking up here for Ryan, which is good. Grant wants to know what the next break is going to be. We will be doing 2019 Tops Chrome on Sunday night. So we'll be live again Sunday around 6 p.m. 
Eastern time breaking two jumbos and one hobby case. There's Billy Martin. Of Topps Chrome, a beautiful set with lots of autographs littered in those boxes as well. What do we have next coming up? We have Terry Crowley, and there's a Lane V. Lane says, hey, Jabs, I pulled a one-of-one -one Josh Hader rookie card printing plate from 2017 updates. Here's any opinion on worth. Lane, you could set the market for that. Those one-of-ones are really tough to say. Um, I would, if I were you, I would look for similar printing plates if you can find them of similar caliber rookies. I would say you probably have yourself at least a three to $500 card right there, I would hope. Uh, it's a very good pull for sure. Again, you could put it on there. Heck, put it on there for $1,000 best offer and see what comes in. Uh, it's not like you have to sell it right away. There's a nice Mike Schmidt all-star card. Here's what the back of the card looks like, by the way. We used to see these in every rack pack. Matthew says, do I have a Juan Soto rookie that you're uh, that I could sell to you? No, but maybe eventually I'll do some 2018 uh, update breaks or 2018 breaks in general. We can go after the Juan Soto again. It's good old Rusty K. Uh, there's 215 says, hey, Eric, had to stop by and say what's up. But even though I'm not in on this break, good luck, everyone. 215, Frank Ye, thanks for stopping in. Who's my favorite Brave ever? I'd have to go with Greg Maddox. Loved Greg Maddox as a kid. Loved watching him work. There's Paul Owen's manager card. Mike Flanagan. Todd's calling two Mattingly's tonight. We will see there's Sparky Anderson, a Hall of Famer, and Fergie Jenkins, also a Hall of Famer, from up north of the border in Canada. So pack number four is in the books. Thank you, Ryan. Pack number five is coming up. So let me get that started. Let's see, you've got Hall of Famer Carl Yastrzemski. Michael says, is it better not to open the pack if Donnie Baseball's on the top? Um, if the person is in here and requests it not to be opened, I will obviously honor that. But if they aren't here and they want me to open it, I will take it. And I've got the one touches ready to go uh, for Don Mattingly. We are all ready to go. We'll get that put in a one touch right away because I just feel like that's the best way to protect it in shipping. Um, I would do my best to cardboard up these packs if they wanted it just shipped like this, but I feel like your best chance of getting a PSA 10 is if we get that card in a one-touch ASAP. Baseball card extravaganza says, SD guy Perkins is the cards before Mattingly. SD guy Perkins. So... Perkins is what we're looking for. If we see someone named Perkins, we'll know that Mattingly is coming up after that. Baseball card extravaganza. Good knowledge there. And um, that's part of the game back in the 80s. We had a lot of people kind of game these boxes because what they would do is they would look at the cards on the top and they would know exactly what cards were coming up. We even see that today, like you saw yesterday when I was opening those 2019 Series 1 packs. Every time we had uh, Cedric Mullins, Ryan O'Hearn was right after him. Every time we had a, um, it was Kopech, Lariano, and Jeff McNeil all in a row. Jeff McNeil would come up, and then two cards later be Lariano, and then the card after that was Michael Kopech. That's the collation. And guys that figured it out back in the 80s could just look at the cards on top or on the back and just pull the Dom Mattingly packs right out of here. So that is why I always buy these ones, these rack ones, from a sealed case. Just, um... Maybe you'd get lucky and it wouldn't have been sequentially searched like that, but I would suggest highly going the route that I'm going tonight, and hopefully it pays off at least once. Now, the Junior Rules chat says, Shh, don't tell anyone I work while I'm watching. Thank you very much to the Junior Rules chats. I hope you guys will check them out. I hope you're having fun at work. Here we go for Tim now. Willie McGee, that's a Willie McGee second year card. You guys might remember him. Who could forget Willie McGee, Kent Herbeck? As a kid, I used to call him Kent Home Run Beck just because that HR was the designation for home run that we all came to know and love. There's former Royals manager Ned Yost. Dwight Evans was a great player back in the day. Ken Griffey Sr. making a catch there at first base. There's 24 total packs tonight. There's Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer, Mr. Mustache himself. Johnny Ray's got a really famous card. His 1987 Donruss opening day, the Johnny Ray Air card, is worth like $500. Uh, there's Andre Dawson. It's actually supposed to be Barry Bonds, but it's Johnny Ray that's pictured. Don Baylor, Dan Quisenberry, one of my brother's favorite players. There's Tommy Lasorda. 
Who else do we have coming up? Looking for Don Mattingly and keeping an eye out for someone named Perkins. And there he is, good old John Wathen. Um, looking all smug there because of his speed stats. John Wathen, 32 stolen bases there. Or no, 36 stolen bases, which was a record in 1982 for catchers. That's pretty fast for a catcher for sure. There's Mario Soto, Glenn Hubbard. Next up, we got Hall of Famer Jack Morris, who was a big game pitcher for sure. Jim Dwyer, Jerry Remy. Those of you that are in the Red Sox nation definitely like listening to him. There's Carl Yastrzemski, another nice Red Sox player. Bruce Bochy, most popular for his managerial run there with the Giants and winning all those World Series every other year, 2010, 2012, 2014. There's Dale Murphy, Jeff Leonard. We got a, who else is coming up? Don Robinson. Jeff says, this is a fun throwback. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Raleigh Fingers and Jim Palmer. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Steve Carlton, another Hall of Famer. George Hendrick, and the last one is Ron Guidry, who was a great pitcher back in this era as well. So, Tim M., thank you very much. Still looking for our first Don Mattingly. Eric Z is up right now. Dante says, thank you for posting videos that I watch every morning during this crazy time. You're welcome, Dante, and thank you very much for checking them out. I appreciate that. And Robert H. is here. Robert, what is up? Best of luck to you later on in your pack. I know you are in this break a little bit later. Eric Z's up right now. He's got Al Oliver, who was a great player and probably should have maybe gotten a little bit more consideration for the Hall of Fame with all the hits he compiled. Tim Raines and Steve Braun. No relation to Ryan Braun, at least I don't think so. All right, so here we go. Let's carefully open up all three of these. What if the Mattingly is on the back of the pack, asked Thomas. That's a good point. I guess I should flip that over, huh? Like I said, if uh, the pack person from Patreon is in here and wants me to keep it sealed up, I will do so. And I will start to look at the back of the packs for you guys. Um, Carl says, got to get to these guys selling out too fast. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Sometimes the throwback Thursday sell out quickly because there's limited spots. In future Throwback Thursdays here and there, I'll try to get you guys some more cases and stuff like that. But when we do just do the boxes, uh, there's a limited supply with only 24 spots uh, available. So here we go. There will be plenty of Topps Chrome. I got three cases of that. Ricky Henderson. And by the way, we will might do a 1980 Topps break at some point over the next month or two. Looking for his rookie card. Have not yet seen the Tony Gwynn Salvador. There's Mike Hargrove. Mike Sosha, his rookie's 1981, Junior Ortiz. If you like Junior Ortiz, I believe that's his rookie card. So congratulations, Eric. I used to hate Junior Ortiz, even though I was a Pirates fan as a kid. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because he wore, like, number double zero, and I thought that was weird or not. Charlie Huff, um, looking about 42 years old in that picture. Kent DeColvey, one of the great closers for the Buccos. Denny Martinez, El Presidente. I used to hate him as a kid because he drilled Kirby Puck in the eye, and I felt like Denny Martinez ruined Kirby Puckett's career, but um, I think Kirby Puckett already had glaucoma setting in at the time. There's Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. Glenn Hubbard, Jack Morris, another Hall of Famer. we got a Joe Necro, a member of the Necro Brothers. Phil Necro's in the Hall of Fame, but not Joe Necro, but Joe definitely had a great and long career. There's Dave Beard. Nick Isaski was kind of an interesting player back in the day. Dave Schmidt. Jody Davis. Chet Lemon. There's Juan Bonilla. We've got our all-star card there of Al Oliver. Jim Fry manager card. Alejandro Pena. Looking for our big hit of the day, Don Mattingly. And it looks like, uh, I don't know, only a couple cards left to find him in this pack. There's Andre Dawson, all-star card. Checklist card, which I used to hate as a kid. Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt. And we have Lonnie Smith, batting leaders card. And the last one there is yet another checklist for Eric. So, Eric, thank you very much. Next up is Eben L. Best of luck to you, Eben. Albert Bell stats, are they Hall of Fame worthy based on his at-bat slash production? That's a good question, Garrett. I don't think Albert Bell is ever going to sniff the Hall of Fame just because of the PED innuendos there, but I do believe if Bell didn't have that bad hip that ended his career in his early 30s with the Orioles, he, um, he, he would have definitely had at least a better argument. Might have been right up there with Gary Sheffield um, with similar stats. Pack number seven, we've got Gary Carter on the front and flipping over to the back. 
We got a Jorge Bell on there along with the team checklist card. So let's get this one. Yeah, Albert Bell was a really surly guy for sure. Kind of grumpy almost. Shout out to you, RNBO. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you for all you guys for tuning in tonight. I know there is a draft coming up. I am hoping to end somewhere around 8 p.m. so I don't hold you up watching your draft. But if you have to go, I will definitely understand. Rippin' Riders card says, please pull Mattingly. That's my favorite all-time card. We'll do our best. All right, so Evan, pack number seven. Let's see who we can find for you. There's Pete Rose, not a Hall of Famer, but the most hits in MLB history. Hall of Famer Gary Carter follows him up for good measure. Ron Hassey with his curly hair spilling out of his helmet. There's Nolan Ryan. That's one of the best cards in the set. Probably the number two best card in the 84 set. The Ryan cards in every set from uh, these vintage stops, tops releases is usually right up there at the top of not a rookie card. There's Phil Necro throwing some nasty junk there. He's a Hall of Famer. Pitched a long, long time. We have Bill Dolly. Jim Beatty. Todd says the cards look amazing. Yep, they definitely are in great shape. Lots of nice sharp corners coming out of this box for sure. Pete Vukovic. Cal Ripken Jr. Nice Hall of Famer, Cal Ripken Jr. I had to. I was so impressed with the last box from this seller, 1985. I wanted to get another one. So I guess he probably has a, a few of these cases. There's Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. And here we go. I think we've already seen these already. We had this same exact pack in another rack. There's Dawson. We should have Mike Schmidt coming up, right? If I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken. Yep, nope, there he is. So see how it's so predictable? That's what you have to watch out for with the rack packs. If you see like a really desirable rack pack on like eBay or something like, I don't know, 1977 Tops rack pack, and you want to go for Andre Dawson, I probably wouldn't go for it just because I'd be too afraid that the card's been pulled. All right, next up, Braden, you're up. And Braden, by the way, make sure you're, you're on the $26 donation tier. I don't know if you put your address in. You might want to check that. I was looking through all of the 26 folks today, and I think you had a big empty spot where your address goes. So I'll double check that. If you put your address with your PayPal payment, you should be good. All right, here we go. Pack number eight. This is the one third of the way through the third mark. Still no Don Mattingly, but we have seen a lot of the Hall of Famers so far. Still looking for, I don't think we've seen Ryan Sandberg yet. That would be a nice one. Dave Durango is in the house. Welcome, Dave. All right, let's see what we can find for Braden in pack number eight. There's Tom Bernanski, Frank Viola, whose rookie car was the previous year. Lou Pinella, Sweet Lou Pinella, Rick Sutcliffe. Nice announcement there. Jerry Kuzman, famous for sharing that rookie card with Nolan Ryan. There's Hall of Famer Ted Simmons doing a little bat drop there. It looks like he's drilling double the opposite way in the gap, maybe. Brett Butler. 84, definitely. I used to love the 84 set. When I first started collecting cards, the 84 set was the one I was all about. And I remember my dad got it for me for Christmas one year. And my brother got the 85 set. And then the 85 set just took off in value with all those good rookies in there like McGuire, Clemens, Puckett, and all the other guys too, like Oral Hershiser and John Franco, Eric Davis. There's Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer. Looking for someone named Perkins. Lou Whitaker probably should be considered a little more heavily for the Hall of Fame. Kind of just fell off the ballot right away. Cal Ripken, Jr., all-star card. That picture looks like he was taking it spring training. Big light tower there in the background. Joseph said you should do Top Sapphire. Yeah, those are like $400 boxes or more. There's only like 32 cards in a box. But yeah, you're right about that. Reggie Jackson, Kent Herbeck, Eddie Murray. So Murray and Ripken in the same pack. So... Braden, thank you very much. Pack number nine is coming up. We're almost at the halfway point. 12 packs will mark the halfway point. There is a grand total of 24 packs in here. So pack number nine is for Brad P. You've got yourself a mini trio on top. There's a Rick Monday, famous Rick Monday, for saving the American flag out of Dodger Stadium. No Don Mattingly on the back. Yeah, Rick Monday ran out there. There were some protesters that ran on the field and tried to burn the American flag in, what was that, like the 70s? And Rick Monday put a stop to that. 
Superman Rick Monday went and snatched that flag right off of those um, protesters. All right, so let's see. We got John Tudor there. I used to love using John Tudor in RBI 1 for the uh, Cardinals. He was a pretty decent pitcher on that game, for me at least. But here we go. Brad, you're up. John Tudor is first. What's the Mattingly go for, ask Wyatt? Well, a Don Mattingly PSA 10, if you look on eBay, is a $400 card. There's Dennis Eckersley is a Hall of Famer. Hey, we got him, Don Mattingly, just talking about him. $400 card if it's a PSA 10. So for all the PSA employees at home, they're going to grade this card right now. First, let me get it in a one touch, and then we'll take a good look at it. It's the first of hopefully two. Here we go. I have the one touches ready to go. I was hoping we'd find a few of these. Like I told you, your best chance at finding these good rookies, especially out of the rack boxes, is to definitely get a from a sealed case. Rack boxes are so easy to search, as you guys have seen, from just knowing what cards follow each other in the order. And here we go. Let me get this. Oh, this is nice. Get it nice and centered. Brad, big hit right there. Number nine. The order was determined by the order that they signed up in. So we do have a lot of PSA employees, as it seems, at home. You can grade this card right now. Uh, I see an 11. I see a 9. Check out the back of the card as well. Another good thing about rack packs is you don't get the darn gum or wax stains either. Very nice looking card. Don Mattingly. Donnie Baseball. Beautiful looking card right there. Congratulations once again, Brad. I'd like to keep that on the screen for a while, but we're going to have to probably put it aside after Brad's pack is history. Uh, I don't know. Where should I put this at? Maybe like right there. I see 9 or 10, 9.5. Everyone's saying at least a 9. So congratulations on the, that one. Um, so John Tudor, let's go back here and see if you're right. Uh, these are the cards we already saw. John Tudor is a, an indicator, and these other guys, is that Perkins guy, the guy that we have to look out for? Craig McBurdy, Brad Parker, there he says, yeah, buddy, Dennis Eckersley. I don't see the Perkins that someone said before. It looks like it's Eckersley, Benedict, Henderson, and Wiggins are the ones you have to look out for, so... For those of you keeping the score at home, when your pack comes up, if you see any of those guys on the top of your pack, it, you might want to get a little bit excited. So, Brad, congratulations. Make sure you check out Brad Parker's channel. I appreciate the tip there. Thank you so much for your support, Brad, and congratulations on pulling the number one card. Rippin' Riders card says, I can go to bed smiling now. Glad to hear it. And you and Brad will both um, go to bed smiling tonight, I guess. For sure. Let's see what we have. There's Terry Francona. Wiggins was the card before. It says baseball card extravaganza. Once I see Dennis Eckersley, I know that we're in good shape. Unless the Eckersley is coming at the back of one of these packs. There we go. Ricky Henderson and Tim Raines. Hall of Famers. There's a nice Nolan Ryan. Steve Carlson. Tom Seaver. Triple Hall of Famer cards. Joseph says, have I had dinner yet? Yep. Had it right before this. There's Fingers and Goose Gossage. Travis Pack pulls us here, says, nice manly hit. The 84 design is so clean. Did you try for the Bowman first today? Top site has been getting slammed. I didn't try. I figured that I wouldn't have any shot at it. So um, no effort on my part. There's Johnny Grubb, G-R-U-B-B. -B. Love that last name. There's Tom Seaver, Ricky Nelson, and Doug Raider is the last one. Todd says, Jazz, prove me right and pull another. So there it is. Don Mattingly, a PSA 10 of this card is a $400 card. Congratulations, Brad. Now we will continue on with David, and we will keep our eyes peeled for Dennis Eckersley and somebody with the last name Wiggins. I believe those were our precursors to Mattingly. So we got Fred Lynn, Brian Harper, and Bill Caudill on the back. No Mattingly. This, I'm hoping to be done around 8 p.m. Whoever asked about the draft. So I'm trying to get you guys... Uh, transitioned from baseball to football. I don't want to hold you up. I know that of the 700-plus people watching, I'm sure at least a portion of you are going to be watching that draft. I will not be watching that. After this, I'm going to be getting some stuff together to work on the $26 Patreon tiers to try to get those out by Saturday. That's my goal. All right, so David K., you're up right now. 
We are basically looking for Dennis Eckersley and hoping that he follows it up with Ed Mattingly. Jim Palmer's a Hall of Famer. That's a nice one right there. Daryl Strawberry rookie card. Of course, he's got an 83 top straight, but a lot of people consider this to be Daryl's rookie card. That was a nice hot card back in the day. GCR Sports Card says, love watching your throwback videos. Any strawberries yet? How about that one? Literally, the second you hit send, GCR, a strawberry popped up. Thank you so much. I hope you guys will check out GCR Sports Cards and um, head on over to their channel and check them out. The straw came up right when you asked that question. I think we've seen most of the good ones so far. I don't recall seeing Ryan Sandberg yet. Al says that they have to run, but they will be back. There's Steve Carlton, Fergie Jenkins, Triple Hall of Famer right now. Popping up, Wade Boggs card right there. We've got an Alan Bannister. Don Sutton is a Hall of Famer along with Burt Blylevin. Scott says, how do you get in on these breaks? If you check the link in the description, uh, you have to sign up to be a member of my Patreon page, which is 10 cents a day is the minimum donation if you'd like to have access to the breaks and you sign up on that website whenever I post a new break. So, Jason, you're up now. David, thank you very much. Maybe we'll pull one Mattingly from each side. Maybe we'll pull more than two Mattingly's, and we'll get three. Never know. Let's see. Jason is up now. You got a Dale Murphy on the top of your pack. Pack number 11. A lot of people love Dale Murphy. Also, Tommy Herr. Texas Break says, come on, pack 12. That's Rob. You're coming up soon. I can tell you I see Johnny Bench is on the front of your pack. I don't know if you can see that in the uh, top of the screen. You can probably only see that you have Glenn Hubbard in there. All right. So, Ryan Sandberg will precursor a Don Mangley by about seven or eight cards, says Brian Murphy. So, Brian's got the sequence down. The main one I'm looking out for is Dennis Eckersley because he's the most recognizable for me out of all those names. I always... Pay close attention to Hall of Famers and like to point those out. If we have any new folks that are new to baseball cards watching, help you guys learn the Hall of Famers and stuff like that. So here we go. Pack number 11. Hal McRae, father of Brian McRae, who was a nice prospect back in the early 90s. Dwayne Kuyper, nice player right there. Tim Wallach. What's Andy Van Slyke's worth? There's Fernando Valenzuela. Probably around, I don't know, maybe a dollar. There's Mike Schmidt. Good old Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer. Don Sutton, Hall of Famer. Rick Langford, Don Baylor. There's Tommy Lasorda. I used to love watching Tommy Lasorda get all mad at the umpires. He'd always run out there and get all hot and bothered over something. He's a, a great arguer. Of course, that part of the game is now kind of um, gone just because we have replay, which pretty much clears everything up. There's no use of arguing anymore. They say, hey, check the camera on that one. Chad Hopkins is here. Hey, Chad. Chad says, hey, Eric, thanks for the break. Hope all is well. Thank you very much, Chad. I really appreciate your support. I don't think Buck Showalter's in this one, Chad, but Rod Crew, if you have any Buck Showalter printing plates or anything like that, anything Buck Showalter, Chad is your man. Make sure you check his channel out and link up with him, especially if you got Buck Showalter stuff. This is a nice Triple Hall of Famer card. I don't think we've seen that one yet today. There's Lou Whitaker and Jack Morris. Cal Ripken Jr. That's our third Cal Ripken Jr. card today. We had his base card, his all-star card, now his league leader card, and a Pete Rose. So that is Jason's. And now here we go, Texas Breaks. That's Rob M. Best of luck to you, Rob. Pack number 12. Let's see if it's a lucky one. You have at least one Hall of Famer with the Johnny Bench on the front. It's the last pack from the left stack. Johnny Bench, Glenn Hubbard, and the back of yours. I don't see the Mattingly there, so here we go. Good old JB on the top. Get all three of these open. Glenn Hubbard. Anytime I hear Glenn Hubbard, I always think of the movie Major League Two when Randy Quaid shouts, um, I don't know, uh, shouts at the manager, your old mother Hubbard, and you only got Vaughn in the cupboard because Greg Vaughn was terrible at that point. And then Greg Vaughn, not Greg Vaughn, <laughs> yeah, slugger Greg Vaughn. Rick Vaughn comes out, and he's, he's the old Rick Vaughn of old. There's Jim Rice. There is DMK, and thank you very much. David Cases, thanks, Jab. You're the man. Thank you very much for the super chat there. I really appreciate that. David had pack number 10. I hope you enjoyed it. It's always fun looking for the best cards, and just looking in general for 
Um, nostalgia purposes at all of these old cards from 1984. I was only three years old when this set came out. My brother was born when this set came out. This is his birth set. There's Jack Morris, Joe Necro, looking for Dennis Eckersley to get excited about because we see Eckersley. We know what's coming up just a few cards later. There's Jody Davis, Chet Lemon again, Juan Bonilla. And we have, there's Johnny Bench for Texas Breaks. The honorable, men honorable mention, I guess. That's kind of weird. I guess they wanted to get Johnny Bench on a card really badly. Dave Stewart, he was uh, a great pitcher and had that glare nailed down. Tom Candiotti is the last one. Ethan says, how do you get your name on to one of those spacers? You have to sign up on my Patreon page. Uh, there's Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Uh, link is in the description if you'd like to check that out. So Texas Breaks, thank you very much for buying in. I hope you guys will check out Texas Breaks, TX Breaks. Now moving on to the right side of the box. We're at the halfway point. Box number 13 is up right now. You've got Whitey Herzog on the top. Dave Rigetti's on there as well. On the back, you got Bo Diaz, who was crushed by a satellite that fell off his roof and passed away very tragically. Um, at the end of the 1988 season, I believe, in December. I remember being really sad about that when I heard about that. Would put my Bo Diaz 1989 Tops card aside. I felt like it, I don't know, would have been very valuable at some point. But here we go. Last pack for Tyler. Got all three ready to go. Dave says Bo haunts his channel. Good old Bo Diaz. It was a nice player. There's Kirk Gibson. His rookie card is 1981. Tony Perez. First time seeing those two cards, I do believe. Lee Smith. First time seeing that one. Burt Blylevin, Hall of Famer as well. Ryan Sandberg. Lots of Hall of Famers here for Tyler. That was a nice run there. Joe Morgan, another Hall of Famer. This pack is pretty stacked. There's Bo. Let's see what else we can find coming up for you. There's Dave Steeb, Goose Gossage, Hall of Famer, Bobby Cox, Hall of Famer, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. So I think you won the night for Hall of Famers in a pack, Tyler. You might have about a dozen or more. Rod Carew, Hall of Famer right there, along with Sweet Lou Whitaker. There is Armando Guzman, still smiling about his Alan Trammell autograph. Whitey Herzog, Hall of Famer. There was good old... John Wathen there for a second. Lou Whitaker probably should be in the Hall of Fame. Mentioned him already. Buddy Bell, Rick Honeycutt, Cal Ripken Jr., yet another HOFer. Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer. And Eddie Murray, already saw that one. Another Hall of Famer. You might have had like 15 Hall of Famers that one. A good run of HOFers right there for T Tyler. Congratulations on that, Tyler. Next up, number 14. That's for Luke. So the Don Mattingly was a pack number nine. So does that mean that the third pack from the bottom, pack 21, is going to have another Mattingly? We shall see. Might come in this one. Uh, we've already seen a few repeats already, as you've seen with the Murray and the Ripkins. And here we go. Luke, you're up. Pack number 14 of 24. Let's see what we can find for you. There's former closer Jim Gott on the front of this one and hall of famer and power hitting 500 home run switch hitter eddie murray at the front of this pack so luke let's get your start i don't think we've seen that eddie murray the hobbyist we just found don mattingly in pack number nine and we have a good shot at finding another as we're just barely a little over halfway through this box a mattingly psa 10 usually sells for 400 to 450 dollars on the good old eBay there. There's the Jim Gott. Fred Lynn had a great career. George Brett, Hall of Famer. First time seeing him. There's Bill Verdon, former outfield coach with the Buccos. Keith Hernandez, 79 most valuable player. Co-most valuable player, I should note. Bill Buckner. What else do we have coming up? We have Dave Kingman, who hit a ton of home runs in his career. But um, not a Hall of Famer. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Ricky Henderson and Tim Raines is a nice card. You got a nice triple Hall of Famer. Greg's card pulls. We found one Mattingly already. We're hoping to find another one. What we're looking for is a nice Dennis Eckersley, and that's going to be the tip-off. Nice Johnny Grubb again. There's Tom Seaver. 
and Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer, right there. So if we see the Dennis Eckersley, we know that coming up not too long after that should be a Donnie Baseball. So Dante with Super Chat. Thank you very much, Dante. Dante D says, my channel is D's Boys Toys. So thank you very much, Dante D. If you'd like to check out D's Boys Toy, Kind of a little bit of a tongue twister. Make sure you check him out. Thanks for the uh, the tip there, Dante. I really, really appreciate that. Basilios, you're up now. You got Ozzy Smith on the front. Best of luck to you. Fergie Jenkins on the back. So a couple of Hall of Famers coming your way. Let's see what we can pull for you. I see my friend Joe just put up a YouTube video. I've got my post notifications on for him. I hope he's doing well. I hope he pops in here so I can ask him about the results of his test that he had the other day. There's Gary Gaetti, Mike Marshall, who was a nice player for the Dodgers in the late 80s. I remember his starting lineup from 1988, Mike Marshall. All right, here we go. Basilios, let's see what we can find for you. There's Brian Giles, not the Brian Giles that you probably remember, at least not the one I remember from the Buccos and Indians and Padres. There's Tom Seaver, who is a Hall of Famer. Atlee Hamaker, who I used to call Atlee Hammaker because I used to sometimes purposely mispronounce players' names. I don't know why I would do that. There's the Fergie Jenkins, the first ever Hall of Famer from north of the border from Canada. Bruce Souter, Hall of Famer. What else do we have here? Don Hood, Ozzie Smith, love that card. The Wizard himself, he's in the Hall of Fame for you new folks out there learning about the game. Dale Murphy had a great career, especially throughout the mid to late 80s. He was an absolute beast. There's Ozzy Smith, Jamie Quirk, a couple Hall of Famers on that one. Actually, that's the triple Hall of Famer lineup again. Dwight Gooden, looking for him as well. Actually, he's in the traded set, so Dwight Gooden, you won't see him in this set. Got to get the tops traded from 84 set to find him. There's Dan Quisenberry, Ron Jackson, Mike Scott, Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. This card has no Hall of Famers on it. And we've got Alan Ramirez and Kevin Hagan as the last ones for Basilius. So thank you very much, Basilius. Next up, pack number 16 is for Clayton P. Best of luck to you, Clayton. Let's see what we can find you here. Looking out for... Our second Don Mattingly, Robin Yount, is on the front of this pack, along with Mario Soto. And there's no Donnie Baseball on the back, so here we go. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit here on this Thursday night, everybody. Like I said, probably will be about an hour. I started at 7.04, I think, so probably end right around the same time an hour from then, a little bit after 8 or so. Hopefully you guys had a great Thursday. The weekend's coming up. Tomorrow we'll have Face Off Friday, Monster Box Edition. If I can get my Gypsy Queen box in, I ordered it like a week ago and it's still not here. So last hope is that it comes tomorrow. If not, I'll go with something else. There's a Robin Yount. Saturday, I think we're doing a subscription box from the Rookie Rated Box. There's Dave Winfield. What else do we have here coming up? Bake McBride, nice interesting name right there. Norman R says, hey Eric, sorry I missed this break. Looks like a good one. See you at the next one. Good luck, everyone. Did you pull a Dave Parker, Norman R? We did have a Dave Parker. I really appreciate that earlier. Dave Parker, a lot of folks think that he should be a Hall of Famer. The Cobra, one of the most dominant players there in the late 70s, early 80s. Dave Parker, we'll make a note to look out for him again. There's Kyrie Jr. I hope you guys will check out Norman R. Thanks for all of your participations, participation in the breaks. Norman, I should be having your recent stuff sent out to you oh, within the next week. I'm working now on the $26 tiers starting tonight. Phil Necro, I passed. Sorry about that. Phil Necro, Hall of Famer. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. That's his second year card. A sweet looking Tony Gwynn. Jack Morris, Bob Gibson, not the Bob Gibson you know as the Cardinals Hall of Famer. We've got Cal Ripken, who is a Hall of Famer. And hey, there's Dave Parker, the Cobra. Dave Parker. And check out Classic Pack Breaks, everybody. It says, we appreciate you, Eric. And the Jabs family love the 84s. Got some 78 baseball. That is a really good one. So 
Check out that 78 baseball break for sure. Looking for Jack Morris rookie card and Eddie Murray rookie card and Alan Trammell and Paul Muller. That's a great set and an 80 super cello to start tonight. So if you're talking about loving some vintage stuff, that's some of the best stuff you can get. 78 tops and 80 tops. I am jealous because when I looked at my 1980 tops box today, it was um, a baseball card exchange authenticated tops box was like, I don't know, almost $2,500 after tax on eBay. And 78, those tops boxes, one of those like four grand or so. So make sure if you guys want something to do and you hate football and don't care about that NFL draft, head on over to Classic Pack Breaks later and um, look out for all those good rookies and maybe – Classic will have the good luck at finding the Ricky Henderson because I did not when I did my 1980 tops break. That's a good lineup tonight over there at Classic Pack Break. 78 tops and 1980 Super Cellos. So let's get number 17, and I really appreciate your generous support, Classic Pack Breaks. Thank you so, so much. They sent me some really nice packs from... Um, I don't know, from some of their stash a while ago. Some great stuff from the late 70s, and it was fun to open those. Great dudes over at Classic Pack Breaks. Here we go for Justin, number 17. And uh, my loved one, I just saw your secret text message. So I guess I forgot to turn off my Do Not Disturb. I know you're watching live right now, so thank you very much. All right, there's Mookie Wilson. Carlton Fisk is a Hall of Famer. I got Tony Phillips. I used to hate Tony Phillips because he got busted with a bunch of illegal contraband back in the mid to late 90s. There's a Paul Molitor. And then we got to switch these around. Aurelio Lopez, Dave Bergman, Ted Simmons with the bat drop. So we're seeing some doubles now. We got to see another Mattingly coming up, right? I hope so. Let's see what we've got coming up here. Terry Forster. Tim Lawler. Come on, Dennis Eckersley. Eckersley is what we want because he's going to give up the Mattingly to us. Dan's Daily says, Hey, Jabs, love your page. I've started my own so far, and I've opened some 2019 and 2020, and now I'm busting boxes from the Junk Wax era. 93, 94, etc. I'm at 11 subscribers. Dan's Dailies. I hope you guys will help Dan's out. Type in Dale's... Or not Sorry, I can't even talk. Dan's Dailies into the YouTube search bar and help him get a little base there to get started with. Uh, he's at 11. Let's see if we can get him up to maybe over 30. That would be a nice start. Maybe a third of the way to that 100 mark in one day would be a really nice way to uh, get things going. Make sure all you have to do is type Dan's Dailies in, and if you can't find him in the search, make sure you just narrow it down in the filters to channels only. It makes it easier when I search up channels that way. Sometimes I'll get a bunch of other things, but I really appreciate that, Dan's. Uh, it looks like Dave S. says, Dave Ringo, you just got a new sub. Thanks for subbing up each other's channels. That's awesome. Salty Peppers just helped you out, Dan's. All right, so here we go. So did Swing Away Sports Cards. Robert H., you're up now. Best of luck to you, Robert H. out in San Diego. Scotty Arms says, Eric, the NFL draft is starting now. Hurry up, Scotty Arms. I will do my best. I don't want to rush because we do have some folks that are well invested in these packs. Ryan Sandberg on the front. And we have Dan Quisenberry on the back. We only have about six more after this one, so we'll get there in no time at all. I'm sure the NFL draft, is they're going to be talking about who's going to go number one and whatnot. So, oh, Scotty said he's joking, so <laughs> you got me, Scotty. April Fool's on me. Ryan Sandberg is coming up. I love this card. I used to love this card as a kid. All right, so Todd says Mattingly will be in the next pack. Looks like I didn't clip this one well enough. That little seal there is still going. Chandler says, became a Patreon today. Awesome videos, bud. Thank you very much, Chandler. I think I saw you on the $26 donation list. I'll be having your packs out in the mail to you sometime over the next couple days. I appreciate your support. Make sure you guys check out Chandler's channel. Again, all you have to do to do that is type in Chandler Salmon and find their channel and give them some support. I really appreciate that tip, man. Yeah, that Rhino is a clean card for sure. There's Steve Howe, who definitely battled his demons in the day. Why are these cards all switched around like this in every every couple cards? Good old 
tops from 1984, making it tough on me. All right, so let's see what we have coming up. There's Don Money, Dave Anderson. I want to get really excited by seeing a Dennis Eckersley coming up here. Robin Yount, all-star card. Julio Cruz, Tony La Russa, who was accused by Jack McDowell of cheating back in the late 80s. There's Andy Van Slyke, rookie card, our second time seeing that one. Hall of Famer card right there with Carew and Reggie Jackson. It's a nice one, our second time seeing that one. JB's is here. What's up, JB's? Whitey Herzog. And now, Robert, thank you very much. Pack number 19. Do you guys think we're going to see a second Don Mattingly rookie card tonight? We shall see. Dave Dringa says, please check out my latest video. I think that came up in my notifications about, was that the one where your package got searched? I didn't have a chance to watch that one yet, but your USPS package came searched. Uh, very, very interesting. I will have to check that one out. Is that the one you're talking about, Dave? Alice is back. Jose. Fire Gary Woods. Tim Raines and Wade Boggs on the back. Your package was ripped up and searched by USPS. That's messed up. Check that one out. If you ever had package problems, you might want to see what Dave Durango has to say. Hopefully, you can file a claim with that and um, get something back at least. Chris Spire coming up. Yeah, I saw that pop up on my notifications. I've got you subbed up there. and I um, forget what I was doing. I think I was playing catch today earlier when that came up and I wasn't able to watch it. Busy day over here in Jabs land. All right, so here we go. Jose R. Let's see if we can find you the Don Mattingly rookie card. Got a King Griffey Senior Colorado card breaks. It's all about the nostalgia. Love 84 tops. Colorado card breaks. There's a nice Raleigh Fingers. Thank you so much. Really hope you guys will check out Colorado card breaks. Search them up on YouTube and Sergeant Rock 52 as well. It says, good afternoon, sir. How are you today? Sergeant Rock 52. Thank you very much for the super chat. Doing pretty well. I uh, went for a four mile walk today. There's a nice Reggie Jackson, Wade Boggs. A very, very nice four mile walk. There's Goose Gossage, Bobby Cox, getting a lot of the Harold Baines Hall of Famers left and right. And then had a, just an absolutely amazing lunch. Grilled chicken salad with bacon. And man, I just almost get chills thinking about how good that was. Tim Raines, Steve Sachs. But had a great day, Sergeant Rock. Hopefully you had a great day as well. There's Tony La Russa, Hall of Famer. Tommy John, famous nonetheless. Ted Simmons is a Hall of Famer now. Nolan Ryan. Of course, you guys know legendary Nolan Ryan. And last one is Dan Quisenberry. Daddy Daughter Card Break says, Fun Break, sad to see this one's close to over. Daddy Daughter Card Breaks, thank you very much. We are close to over, Jose, thank you very much. Got a few packs left, about four packs left, but that just means you guys after this one, if you're not into football, you can go and check out each other's channels. A good opportunity to check out Daddy Daughter's Card Breaks channel or maybe go over to Classic Card Breaks. They said they're opening 78 and 80 tonight. That will be a fun one for sure. Looking for Mattingly here. And I don't see him. Baltimore Box Breakers is here. Triple B. Hey, Ron. Says, hello. Hope everyone in the break had some good luck. Really appreciate that. We did have some luck earlier. We did find the Don Mattingly rookie card already in the first stack. But now he might be coming up very soon. He was in pack number nine at the outset of the break. And now if this is a symmetrical box, you would expect it to be in... Let's see here. The next pack up would be the symmetrical one, 21. So that's got to make Lester feel good. Sergeant Rock 52 says, been busy with video chat, doctor appointments. I have a vertebrae fusion surgery coming up. Otherwise, I'm great. Sergeant Rock, thank you very much. Hope that surgery goes well. I don't know much about it, but it doesn't sound too fun. Uh, hang in there. Let us know how that goes. Uh, I know any surgery is definitely not fun. I was going to go to the doctor today for my side, but the pain has eased up a little bit. I had that pain on my side there for a while. There's Steve Carlton. So I decided to just let it play out for a few days and see how it goes. If I still have it, uh, I will go back. One thing you can never um, take for granted is your health, everybody. There's Tim Raines. Never take it for granted, no matter what it is. If you're healthy, you are lucky and count your blessings. 
All right, we got Doug Sisk. Free Friday breaks us here. Make sure you check them out tomorrow for that Otani. He says, reminder, Jazz, we're giving away that 2018 Shohei Otani autographed out of 250 tomorrow and some Gypsy Queen. Would love it if you stopped by. What time do you say you're live tomorrow? Is it 9 p.m.? Free Friday breaks. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will type in free Friday breaks. All one word. Check their channel out and try to get yourself a Shohei Otani which um, out of 250, a very, very valuable card for sure. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Michael says, these look like they were printed yesterday. Nice box. Yeah, I, the seller that sold me this box, he sold me the 85 box as well. And uh, I had to go back and get another box. I guess he has a bunch of these cases from the early 80s. I, I'm going to probably, probably have to go back again. Free Friday breaks again. William, thank you very much. Pack number 20. It says 9 p.m., so there we go. Confirmation, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, check out Free Friday Breaks and maybe win yourself the Shoyo Tawny autograph. That is a very generous giveaway. Lester's up right now. Here we go, Lester, pack number 21. I'm predicting Madden Lee comes from this one just because I like symmetry. We'll see if he comes out of this one. I say that because he came out of pack nine, so I'm thinking that he'll come out of this one. We will see. Oh, Lee Smith. I can't remember if Lee Smith was in that stack or not, but we shall see. Sarge Rock says it's a 10-plus hour surgery, six months in a full-body cast. But I have a wonderful fiancé that will be helping. I'll be watching a lot of your stuff then. Sergeant Rock, um, that does not sound too appealing, but it's awesome that you have a loved one to lean on. Um, you are a very, very lucky man with that, and... Um, I will do my best to keep making daily content to, to keep you entertained there, man. I really appreciate your support. And let's all keep Sergeant Rock 52 in our prayers. That does not sound too fun whatsoever, but you'll come through it and you'll be come out the other side. 100%. Brand new Sergeant Rock 52. Thank you very much for the support, man. And Colorado Car Break says, did a jabs tribute. Face off Friday that I'm dropping tomorrow. Thank you so much. From yesterday's shoutouts, Colorado Car Breaks picking up with the Face Off Friday idea that I have on the channel. That's awesome. I like that. Um, I'll have to check that out. So make sure you guys check out Colorado Car Breaks and check out his take on Face Off Friday, Ryan Sandberg. We'll be doing ours tomorrow as well. Joe Morgan. That's pre pretty cool. Anytime um, people are taking my ideas and doing their thing with it, that is awesome. There's Ricky Henderson. Steve Braun. Whoa, two Ricky Hendersons in the same box. What if that would have been a Don Mattingly? I mean, it's still a great card for you, Lester. Double Hendersons. Let's see what we have coming up. I'm hoping that we will see another Don Mattingly card before the night is through. Hi-Fi says, you should do a face-off Friday where you open a box and another channel opens a box and winner takes all the cards or all the value. That's not a bad idea as well. I like that idea. Maybe we could do that at some point. You guys are full of great ideas for sure. There's Dave Winfield. We've got Don Sutton and Burt Blylevin. Ron Jackson. Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. I guess I was going to be wrong. I called this one for the Don Manning. There's Eddie Murray. And it's not going to be in this one. Kiko Garcia is the last one for Lester. Sergeant Rock says, just fortunate the VA has outstanding neurosurgeons. That's what I get for zigging when I should have zagged. Sergeant Rock, I'm sure you'll be in the best hands out there. Lester, thank you very much. And uh, let's all keep him in our thoughts and prayers for sure. Those folks, those surgeons, all those folks in the medical field, you gotta tip your hat for uh, tip your hat to them. They they go all out in school, go to school for what like ten plus years, um, and they deserve those big salaries because let's face it, our lives are in their hands. Like I'll never forget the guy that did my surgery, kind of a, a gruff guy, no nonsense guy, um, didn't really have too much to say. Always made me feel like when I was asking questions that I didn't know anything, but. He wasn't the nicest guy. I didn't have very nice uh, bedside manners or whatever with um, making me feel <laughs> like everything was going to be okay. But, man, did he do a good job when he took my cancer out, cut out my entire thyroid, did a great job. 
That's had the definitely had God's hand on his um, surgical hand that day. He did a nice job. I was worried that my vocal cord was going to get cut and all that stuff and have damage to my vocal nerves, but came through it perfectly. So here we go. Rob, you're up now. Rob B. We only have two packs left after this one. Thank you so much for being here, everybody, on this episode of Face Off Friday. Or not Face Off Friday. That's tomorrow. Throwback Thursday. All these episodes tend to run together. There's Kurt Gibson. You guys have me thinking about Face Off Friday after the Colorado Car Breaks uh, Super Chat. There's Tony Perez. Gary Gaetti. Bruce Suter Hall of Famer. Tony Armas. Dave Dravecki. Dave Dravecki had cancer. Had He lost his arm from it, actually. They amputated his pitching arm. But he is a nice, healthy man right now. Armando Guzman. Thank you very much. Did everyone hit the like button? And then post praying hands for Sergeant Rock. Thank you very much, Armando. I really appreciate that. And definitely keep Sergeant Rock in your thoughts. I have to scroll back up there. And here we go. Tim Raines. Will we find what we're after in this pack? There's Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, we've seen a bunch of the Ripkins tonight. And... Don Manley's not going to show up in this pack. It doesn't look like it. There's Brad Wellman as the last one. So two packs left. Two packs left. Rob, thank you very much. We've found one Manley hoping for two more. Now, Robert's up. Robert was a lucky alternate in this break. Robert and Brandon. What happened was I sent on all the invoices this morning. And two, uh, two folks, unfortunately, didn't pay their invoices so Robert and Brandon took their spots. Boomslang is here. I said, Eric, you got lucky. My surgeon must have nicked my vocal cord because my singing voice is gone. Boomslang. Sorry to hear that, man. Um, definitely is not a fun thing, but you're healthy now. And I guess there's other ways you can sing, I guess. Right? I'm sure you were a fabulous singer before the surgery. I actually love singing as well. There's Phil Necro, Andre Dawson. Johnny Lamaster on the back. So, Robert, you're up. Let's see if number 23 ends up being a lucky pack. Only one pack left after this, and it's going to Brandon M., who also was a break alternate, and he got a spot after two folks did not pay. So let's see what we've got coming up for these two fine folks right here. Amy B is here. Amy says, you're awesome. Thank you very much, Amy. I appreciate the kind words. Robert, let's see what we can find for you. Don Mattingly, is he going to show himself one more time? There's a Fergie Jenkins, Eddie Murray, two Hall of Famers right there. Tony says, I used to love Mel Allen on This Week in Baseball. So did I. I used to love that show. Phil Necro is a Hall of Famer. Brandon says, please keep my hot streak going. We will try to. UL Washington. Pete Vukovic, the villain from Major League One. There's Cal Ripken Jr. for like the third time. Frank Robinson, Hall of Famer. That's his manager card. Jeff, how many Mattingly's have shown up? So far, one. So we will try to make it two. Gary Carter, it's a nice Bruce Suter Hall of Famer card right there. All right, looks like it might come down to the last pack. Rod Carew Hall of Famer, nice triple Hall of Famer card right there. And it's going to come down to pack number 24 for Brandon. Let's see. Thank you very much, Robert. Last one of the night. Let's see if we can find Donnie Baseball in this very last pack. Again, thank you very much for being here, everybody, on this episode of Throwback Thursday. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button if you would please. Also, if you don't mind hitting that thumbs up button, I would very much appreciate it. We're going to get on out of here after this pack, and we'll remove that nice big rack box because it's kind of uh, cumbersome to work around it. It's very bulky, and it was sort of in my way, but now I've got a nice empty space to work with for Brandon. All right, so let's see if we can find... Donnie Baseball, very, very last pack of our From a Sealed Case box. Equine says, bring home a winner. We will try. We will definitely try. There's good old Cesar Geronimo, and John Matlack is the last one here. Tony says, last rack magic. We'll see. Every now and then we have a little bit of uh, 
pixie dust in the bottom of the box, and we do have some last pack magic, and we end up with the big hit in the very last pack. Free Friday Break says, thanks for the throwback Thursday. You are welcome. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, I enjoyed hanging out with you for just an hour tonight. We will be live, a longer live stream on Sunday night, beginning around 6 p.m., doing Tops Chrome from 2019. Lots of autos. We'll be chasing after all those decent rookies in that set. So here we go. Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer, getting down to the bottom of the pack here. We're about at the halfway point right now. Doyle Alexander. Dave Bergman, Lorenzo Gray. Need to find Dennis Eckersley to have a good shot at the Don Mattingly. So far, one Eckersley, one Mattingly. Here we go. This is the last 15 cards or so, 16 cards. Dave Steve is on the top. Lance Parrish. Richie Hebner, Bob Shirley, Richard Dotson, Tom Candiotti, Manny Trio. Craig Leffert, Sixto Lescano. Are we going to get lucky and just find Don Manley hanging out at the back of the pack? Dave Stewart, Chuck Tanner, Luis Pujols, and the last one is Richard Dotson. So we got one Don Manley, which is better than zero. It was fun. It came in pack number nine. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Throwback Thursday. Thank you to everybody that participated. Again, if you'd like to get your name on one of these spacers and participate in one of these breaks, you can check the description box. I put a link there to my Patreon page, and you can sign up for those. We'll have our signups for Topps Chrome from 2019. That break will be posted at some point tomorrow, and we'll be breaking that on uh, Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll also have Fan Mail Friday for you, the Patreon-exclusive video for you Patreon members. And tomorrow, for you subscribers here on the main channel, we will have Face Off Friday. I'm hoping to do a Battle of the Giants, the Mega Boxes, if I get my Gypsy Queen box in, because I haven't been able to find it at my local Walmart whenever I go grocery shopping. So I ordered it like a week ago, and it's still not here. If that comes in, we'll do that. If not, I have some other blasters we'll do. I enjoyed hanging out with all of you guys. If you are going to watch the NFL Draft, enjoy it. I hope you guys have a rest of your... Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Make sure you check out Classic Pack Breaks. His Super Chat's still at the top of the screen. He's breaking 78, 1980 tops tonight. Uh, check him out. There's going to be some good stuff coming out of those. Until next time, I will see you all later. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Good night.